distinguished uh, heads of state and heads of government, esteemed ministers, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. As the head of the World Economic Forum's office in China, it is my honor to welcome you to the 13th annual meeting of new champions in Dalian and to formally open the proceedings. And on behalf uh, of the organizers, let me give you the biggest welcome. In Davos, Switzerland, where we gained a deeper understanding of the challenges and opportunities presented by Globalization 4.0. Globalization 4.0 represents the fundamental changes in the global economy that are reshaping companies, countries, and communities at an unprecedented speed and scale. These changes are driven by environmental challenges, regional competition, economic disparities, and technological disruption. These changes require very different forms of leadership and collaboration adapted to this new era. Since January, the global context has become even more volatile, fractured, and unstable. As we enter fully into this fourth wave of globalization, there is a renewed debate over whether it is a beneficial force. Powering economic growth and allowing the spread of ideas to improve people's lives, or whether it is a negative force that erodes communities and widens the gap between the elites and the rest of the world. The World Economic Forum engages with the leaders here in this room and around the world who have the vision and the values to shape the future in this new context. In the of globalization, as leaders, we need to upgrade our skills in order to succeed in this new multipolar and multi-conceptual context. We need to become more empathetic and more creative. We need to be more open to diverse views and more inclusive towards different concepts for solving problems. Dialogue between civilizations is particularly important. Rebuilding trust isn't easy, but as a friend once told me, yo zhe zhe shi jing cheng, we need to learn from different stakeholders. For example, platform strategies and systems leadership are just two examples of key. Where there's a will, there's a way. Technological changes propelling the fourth industrial revolution and globalization 4.0 that could be applied to different contexts. Jie, Bun Jie, Dalian, Xin Lin Jun Jun, Nian Hui, Zhao Kai, Zhe Ji, Woman Ke Xiang, Go Wei, Xin Lin Jun Jun, Xue Xi. I hope uh, this week uh, each of you will be a teacher and a student for Leadership 4.0 and that you will take this opportunity to engage in our forum platforms. Your active engagement will be uh, with the World uh, Economic Forum platforms will shape our future context for the better. I hope during this uh, week and uh, during this uh, forum, uh, regarding leadership 4.0, you can be students and you can be teachers. You can engage in forum platforms and uh, so that we can create a bright future together. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome me, join me in welcoming Tang Yijun, governor of Liaoning province, to share his remarks. Distinguished uh, head of states and uh, head of governments, distinguished uh, ministers, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In Dalian of midsummer, 
by the blue ocean and the green mountains with everything full of vitality. The 2019 Annual Conference of New Champions is uh, solemnly opened today. Friends old, new, friends old and new are gathered together to enjoy this great event. Here, on behalf of the CPC Provincial Party Secretary, Mr. Chen Fa, the Provincial CPC Committee, the provincial government and the 43 million people of the province. Like to congratulate on the opening of the conference and express my sincere welcome to all the leaders, guests, and friends present at the conference. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China, the 13th summer Davos to be held in China and the seventh summer doubles to be held in Dalian. From the Alpine mountains of Switzerland to the coast of the Bohai Bay, Davos Forum adheres to a global perspective, seeks uh, cooperation and uh, development. It is not only an important uh, platform to share ideas and wisdom and uh, to disseminate uh, friendship and uh, mutual trust in the international community, it also serves as a bridge for Liaoning province to open up and to be a leader in overall revitalization. This year's annual conference has its, uh, is a theme, a leadership 4.0. Succeeding in a new era of globalization, it is in line with the trend of the time and it, is, and it fits the interests of different parties and it catches the direction of uh, de development. The attendees are from every cor corner of the world. It is very significant for strengthening communications and cooperation, for promoting high quality and sustainable development of the world economy, for shaping a shared future for the mankind. At the recently concluded G20 summit, Xi Jinping made important uh, remarks, clearly uh, stating that China will introduce uh, major measures which will accelerate the pace of forming a new land uh, landscape of opening up to the outside of, of the world and uh, try to realize uh, high quality development. Liaoning as a province by sea, by rivers, and by the borderline in the northeastern part of China will implement and practice Xi Jinping's instructions when he visited this province and during a roundtable on further revitalization efforts in the northeastern region of China. And we will uphold the flag for of, of op opening up even higher. We will take the Belt and Road Initiative as a main thread, and we'll take the Coastal Economic Corridor as a main support and the Northeastern Asia Navigation center of Dalian as a priority and the development of a high caliber free trade pilot zone as an engine and will make endeavors to create a business environment featured by internationalization, rule of law, and a convenience to set up a comprehensive pilot area of a Belt and Road Initiative and a China and a Central Eastern Europe 17.1 pilot area for economic co and uh, trade cooperation and a pilot area for Northeastern Asia cooperation in trade economy. We'll do a a job in promoting comprehensive opening up and uh, will not slack in our efforts. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as a host, we will make every effort to provide the best services and try to make this year's annual conference an outstanding, successful, and a memorable event. I hope you can spare some time to look around and to discover the beauty and the kindness of this province and to get the most out of your stay here. Lastly, let me wish you a full success. Uh, let me wish you full success to this annual conference, and let me wish you a happy stay. Thank you.